Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase EFI system partition size or increase system partition size. It is a quick and easy tutorial, so let's dive into it. Let's begin by right-clicking on this Windows icon. You have all these options. Go ahead and click on Disk Manager from these options. Now within, you will be able to see a whole lot of storage information. Locate the EFI system partition. It should be around 100 megabytes. I have mine here. Next, locate the C drive, right-click on it and choose Shrink Volume. Another dialog box opens, asking Shrink Size. Place 1024 or 1024 in the box, then click Shrink to shrink the partition by that much. Lastly, the time has come to call forth the command prompt. Search for it in the Windows search box, then press Run as Administrator in order to open it with all system privileges. Now let's run the commands required on disk. Begin by typing disk parts and pressing Enter. This opens the disk partitioning tool. To list all disks available, type list space disk and press enter. From the list, pick your primary disk by typing select space disk space zero and pressing enter. Then type list space partition to list all partitions on the selected disk. To create a new EFI system partition, type create space partition space EFI and then press enter. I won't proceed further with this step, but once done, you will have to format it by typing format space quick space FS equals FAT32 and then pressing enter. Assign a letter to the new partition as formatted by typing assign space letter equals M and then pressing enter. Finally, type list space volume to confirm the partition has been successfully created. That should fix the issue and have everything up and running again. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And click on that notification bell to never miss an update.